So in this video, we are going to learn how to create a hole in cylinder with good topology. So if I if you see the topology, it looks quite good. Okay, no issues. Plus, you see these sharp edges. Okay, let's see. Now you see, there are no issues with that. So let's see how to do that. I am not going to use boolean command. Okay, so select this hide. So go to the add mesh. And click on cylinder okay this is simple 32 vertices latest one select this press 1 on your numpad let's make it simple here. now press tab press ctrl r for loop cuts just scroll uh, uh, down scroll up okay simply scroll up and you will get two vertices press enter now you have two edges now what you have to do is press a again press ctrl r and increase this I think this much is fine go to the face selection mode select these faces press I for inset right click on it loop tools click on circle just in case if anybody doesn't see loop tools you need to go edit preferences and search for loop tools it is a free inbuilt add-on in blender now if I look at it it looks quite good just in case in your case uh, your circular loop will not look like this okay so what you can do make sure your setting is same for example instead of best fit uh, you need to make sure that it is fit inside and make sure that you uncheck the flatten one okay else you will face issues and click on radius and increase or decrease the value of radius as per your requirement as you can see when I increase the radius or decrease it so make sure that it will look like this and you have the same setting as I have. Now press 7, press 1 on your numpad. Now before I move forward, let me do some, you know, move, control some vertices. So click on vertex mode. Select these vertices. Now scale it down. Similarly, select this one, scale it down. Okay, now go to the face section mode again. Select these faces. Enter. Press I for inset. If you see that topology is quite good and they are not straightened face. So this is basically what I want. After that, what will I do? Press E and extrude it in what direction? Again E. E again. E press I for insert face okay after that what I will do I will press S Y 0 uh, press X and delete faces go to the selection mode by pressing alt uh, alt shift select these edges press ctrl F Click on grid field. Similarly, select this by pressing Alt Shift. Press S, Y, 0. As you can see, these edges are also not straight. So select this by pressing Alt Shift. S, Y, 0. So we have made up to this point. Now let's apply subdivision surface. So you see the hole is now look good. Okay. Uh, let's resolve the upper one shoes. So press tab by pressing Alt Shift, select this and select this. Press Ctrl B, add a bevel. Okay. So I'm not adding too much. So now this looks great. Now if I click on Shade Smooth, it's okay, but the hole doesn't have no sharpness of it. For example, if I press G X. You see, I want this kind of sharpness. So how can I add that? So simply select this, press tab. By pressing Alt Shift, select this loop edge. Press Ctrl V, move it outwards. Now I will add this. Again, there is not sharpness here. I want the sharpness. So I can. How can I do that? But yeah, it looks something now similar to this one. 
so to add sharpness what you have to do is press tab by pressing all shift select these two edges press ctrl b so the number of segments are two and width you have to con uh, make very small width if i make width too big it will be shoes as well so this much is fine press tab to exit so you see i have created a hole with this bevel with sharp bevel edge okay and with good topology after applying you know my subdivision surface it gets the good topology as well so with that you can easily make it okay so i hope you learned something from this video if you have any kind of doubts and queries feel free to ask in comments and make sure that you also guys check out my other rigging tutorials uh, tutorials uh, they are quite uh, good you will learn a lot of things so thanks for watching and have a great day namaste